a very hot yeah. day. So yeah, that's kind of our weather headline, but then something happening beneath our feet was uh, bringing Ooh, a lot Rainier. of attention. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, out towards the high terrain of the Cascades, Mount Rainier in particular. We'll take a live look over one of the tallest peaks along our range in Western Washington. Mount Rainier, situated in the heart of Washington State, is an icon of the American landscape. Towering over 14,000 feet above sea level, this stratovolcano watches serenely over the forests and towns of the Pacific Northwest. Its snow-capped summit and sprawling glaciers are visible for miles, drawing adventurers and sightseers alike into its shadow. Yet beneath that sublime surface, Mount Rainier conceals a volatile and ever-shifting underworld, one that in recent weeks has hinted at its presence in the most dramatic way in recorded history. Earlier this summer, starting on July 8, 2025, a swarm of over 1,350 earthquakes rippled through the mountain, each a reminder of the immense and dynamic processes at work below. The United States Geological Survey, USGS, and the Pacific Northwest Seismic Network, PNSN, tracked these quakes intently as the rate reached an average of 30 per hour at its peak. Not since the previous major burst of seismic activity over 15 years ago had Mount Rainier exhibited such pronounced restlessness. Scientists responded with urgency, monitoring tremors, analyzing the swarm, and sifting through streams of data. Although the activity has now retreated to background levels, the significance of these events lingers. Such swarms invite questions, not only about Mount Rainier's immediate future, but about the workings of the entire Cascade volcanic arc. Is this simply a period of robust but routine hydrothermal activity, as experts have suggested? Or could these tremors signal something deeper at play beneath Rainier's slopes? Join me as we journey through the world beneath Rainier's summit, exploring layers of rock, history, and uncertainty, to ask, what is truly happening inside this sleeping giant? Chapter 1. Unrest Beneath the Giant What causes an ancient mountain to suddenly quiver with such intensity? To grasp the significance of the summer 2025 events, we must first understand the concept of an earthquake swarm. Unlike the familiar scenario of a single large earthquake followed by aftershocks, a swarm consists of many small to moderate quakes occurring rapidly in succession, sometimes clustering by the dozens or hundreds within a short period. At Mount Rainier, the July 2025 swarm was not merely the largest in recent record. Its tempo and reach set it apart among volcanoes of the Cascade Range. Peaks of 30 earthquakes per hour signaled rare turmoil. As analysts at the PNSN compared notes with previous swarms in both size and distribution, it became clear this event extended across much of the volcanic edifice, not limited to a single focal point. But what triggers such swarms? At volcanoes like Rainier, earthquake swarms are typically linked to the movement of fluids, water, steam, or molten rock, into cracks and fissures within the crust. Mount Rainier's hydrothermal system is a powerful driver, with glacial meltwater seeping deep, getting heated, and building up pressure until passageways are forced open with a shutter. Occasionally, such swarms can be associated with magma moving at depth, but hydrothermal causes are most often responsible when no surface changes or volcanic gas increases are observed. For this swarm, the scientific evidence indicates hydrothermal activity was the likely principal driver. The USGS and PNSN, after reviewing the seismic signals, did not observe other signs that would indicate rapid magma movement. Though, as with all volcanoes, a degree of uncertainty remains. The immediacy and scale of the swarm force us to ask, is Mount Rainier's hydrothermal system solely responsible for such energy? Or are we glimpsing early indicators of deeper processes? Chapter two, volcanic unrest and human uncertainty. A sudden spike in earthquakes beneath a volcano inevitably stirs anxiety among nearby communities. For the people of Washington, Rainier's iconic presence is both beloved and a persistent backdrop to preparedness. Residents of towns in the mountain shadow routinely practice lahar evacuation, and education around volcanic hazards is part of local identity. Yet while the ground trembles, interpretation remains nuanced. Seismic swarms are only one kind of volcanic unrest, which can also involve ground deformation, gas release, and heat flow increases. In this instance, aside from the record-setting number of quakes, 
scientists did not detect ground rising or swelling, nor abnormal gas emissions. These missing signs point to hydrothermal movement, likely water and steam, rather than new magma forcing its way upward. The USGS characterized the activity as typical hydrothermal, reflecting the recurring cycles of water heating and pressure release that mark Rainier's inner workings. But typical is a relative term, especially where human timelines are concerned. The Cascade Range is powered by profound geological forces, including ongoing subduction far beneath the continent. Earthquake swarms are part of Rainier's story, contributing to our understanding but rarely providing definitive closure. The tension between scientific caution and public concern remains a constant. While experts emphasize that swarms like this are normal and do not typically presage eruptions, the mountain's restless underworld means seismologists remain attentive. The region's preparedness stands as testament to the balance between awe and vigilance, a dance as ongoing as the shifts within the Earth itself. Chapter 3 The Hidden Structure Beneath Rainier What lies beneath Rainier's summit? The structure of Cascade Volcanoes is more complex than bedrock and void. Geophysical surveys have revealed zones of partial melt, not quite liquid nor solid, forming what are referred to as mush zones. These regions, perhaps several kilometers or more beneath the surface, act as heat sources and conduits for rising fluids. Seismic imaging, using the travel times of earthquake-generated waves, hints at slower velocities beneath Rainier's edifice, clues that the rock is hotter and perhaps containing pockets of melt. These voids are not empty, but are more accurately described as sponge-like networks rich in fluid and semi-molten rock. Rather than yawning empty spaces, they form restless regions within the crust, through which energy and material can move. Thus, while the idea of a massive hollow chamber is more science fiction than fact, the dynamic complexity of Rainier's interior brings its own mysteries. Each quake, each swarm, provides new data points, helping scientists to refine their understanding of what lies beneath. Only through years of observation and advances in imaging can the fine-scale architecture of Rainier's subterranean system be pieced together. Chapter 4 Magma, the Invisible Player Whenever seismic swarms intensify beneath a volcano, the possibility of magma movement comes to mind. Magma forces rock apart as it rises, sometimes resulting in ground deformation, swelling or bulging that can be tracked by GPS, INSAR satellites, or leveling surveys. At Rainier, however, the 2025 swarm did not produce any measurable deformation or visible ground change. What does this mean? It suggests that, at least for this event, new magma did not ascend near the surface or in significant volume, or that any movement occurred at depths or locations undetectable by today's monitoring array. Swarms linked to hydrothermal phenomena rarely cause ground deformation. The absence of such change supports the interpretation that heated water and steam were primarily at play. Still, volcanic processes are subtle and intricate. It's possible for magma to move in deeper or less accessible pathways, sometimes without broadcasting obvious surface clues. Geologists remain cautious, always considering the margins of uncertainty. The lack of deformation in this case, however, lessens the likelihood of imminent eruption from this particular event. Chapter 5. Surface Deformation, a Volcanic Warning Sign Deformation is a key indicator for volcanic unrest, one of the most reliable signs that magma is active. At supervolcanoes like Yellowstone, gradual bulges or subsidences in the land offer critical data on underlying changes. Mount Rainier is not classified as a supervolcano, but its size and prominence mean that any ground deformation would be taken seriously. During the 2025 seismic swarm, however, surface sensors recorded no significant uplift or distortion. While the lack of visual drama may be reassuring, it is a reminder that not all major geologic episodes come with clear warning signs. Some surface change may be so slow or subtle that it goes unnoticed for months or years, tracked only by sensitive instruments. Rainier's episode this summer reinforces the importance of broad, long-term monitoring. Even with the most advanced technology, not every signal is straightforward. Seismic activity can outpace visible deformation raising challenges for risk communication and public awareness. Chapter 6. Magma Pathways and Seismic Swarms. Complex Connections. 
Deep beneath volcanoes, molten rock does not rise in straight lines. Instead, it may find and exploit existing weaknesses, channels, fractures, and permeable zones within the crust. These so-called magma corridors are inferred primarily from earthquake data and geophysical models rather than direct observation. Clusters of earthquakes can trace the movement of fluids and melt along these complex internal pathways. Corridors change over time, sometimes opening suddenly, then sealing as minerals precipitate out or pressure falls. Each swarm, such as the one observed this summer, is a new opportunity to refine and test scientific models. Whether the 2025 swarm involved the widening of existing cracks by water and steam, or hinted at minor movements of magma, remains a matter for further study. Most available information points toward hydrothermal processes. Nevertheless, ongoing research is crucial in mapping Rainier's intricate plumbing and understanding risks for the future. Chapter 7 Mantle Heat and Tectonic Influences The Cascade Volcanoes, including Rainier, are built over the zone where the Juan de Fuca Plate dives beneath North America, a process known as subduction. The melting of this subducting plate generates magma, which feeds the region's volcanoes. While some volcanoes, like Hawaii's, are linked to hot mantle plumes, the evidence for a plume beneath Rainier is far less clear and generally not accepted in mainstream geology. Geoscientists using seismic tomography have occasionally identified zones under the Cascades where seismic waves slow down, implying hotter material. However, most experts attribute Rainier's eruptive potential and seismic activity to subduction-driven magmatism and the circulation of water rather than to anomalous mantle plumes. The interaction of deep heat with surface hydrology, glacial meltwater, rain, and snow is a distinctive feature of Rainier, influencing both its hydrothermal system and, episodically, its seismic behavior. Whether broader tectonic trends will amplify such events in the future remains part of the ongoing inquiry. Chapter 8 crustal evolution and weak zones. The land west of the Cascade Range is tectonically active. The ongoing collision and subduction of plates have created both mountain chains and localized crustal thinning in some areas. This thinning makes it easier for magma and fluids to rise, potentially facilitating the occasional large seismic swarm. Faulting during swarms like Rainier's can locally shift stresses, potentially opening weak points in the crust for fluids or melt to ascend or rearrange. The proximity of the Juan de Fuca Ridge, an offshore seafloor spreading center, shapes the tectonics of the entire region, though the direct connections to Rainier's seismicity are indirect and complex. The 2025 swarm may reflect these broad geological forces. Yet, while crustal thinning is a factor in volcanic systems over millennia, no evidence suggests any recent or dramatic thinning directly beneath Rainier linked to this summer's earthquakes. Instead, events like these are seen as expressions of the region's dynamic continental setting. Chapter 9 Uncovering Faults, Swarms and Subtle Rifting In any tectonically active mountain belt, new faults are forming, evolving, or reactivating. High-resolution mapping of the 2025 swarm showed that some earthquakes lined up along known and suspected faults beneath Rainier. It is possible that some events illuminated previously unmapped fractures, or that local stress redistribution initiated slippage on small, hidden faults. While some geologists consider the possibility of incipient or micro-rifting when analyzing earthquake patterns in volcanic terrains, the current scale at Rainier is modest, far from the dramatic rift valleys seen elsewhere on Earth. Rainier's swarms tell us that the mountain is still reshaping itself, even after thousands of years of volcanic construction and glaciation. Whether these subtle rearrangements will shape the region's long-term future remains a question for continuing study. For now, the mountain's changing anatomy continues to be mapped by every quake. Chapter 10. Fact, Interpretation, and the Ongoing Mystery. What do we truly know about Mount Rainier's restless heart? In the wake of the 2025 seismic swarm, the largest on record for this volcano, scientists have pored over data, drawing on decades of monitoring, modeling, and historical comparison. The best current evidence suggests a large hydrothermal swarm, powered by cycles of water and steam moving through Rainier's interior, 
rather than magma rising toward the surface. Yet, as leading experts like Dr. Seth Moran, Dr. Steve Malone, and Dr. Bill Steele have shown through their ongoing work, our understanding of Rainier and the Cascade Volcanoes is always growing. Each swarm brings new information, new questions, and sometimes new mysteries. Current technology allows us to read signals from the Earth, but not always to interpret their meaning with full certainty. For people living in the valleys below, the memory of the swarm lingers. Daily life returns to normal, yet the lessons and mysteries endure. We have glimpsed the dynamic forces beneath the mountain, but the search for clear answers is, as always, ongoing. The story of Mount Rainier's seismic summer is not only a narrative of warning, but also of inquiry and discovery. In every tremor, scientists find both risks and opportunities, clues to the nature of a landscape in flux, and an invitation to deepen our understanding of the land around us. Each quake is a message from under the earth, reminding us that what seems unchanging is in fact always transforming. We are compelled to look deeper at Rainier, at the Cascade Range, and at the restless earth that endures under our feet. Our search for certainty will never quite be finished, but in that never-ending investigation lies both humility and wonder. Perhaps that is Mount Rainier's truest message for our time. Beneath even the most iconic summits, the forces of nature are ever alive and evolving, and our quest to understand them is as enduring as the mountains themselves.